It's Mike from brew-dudes.com. Doing some chores in the brew house today. Uh, transferring some beers over, and I transferred out a carboy full of uh, Irish red ale, getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. And I figured I would take the time to uh, collect some of this nice uh, Nottingham yeast cake that I have. Let me show you a little bit of this, if you can see it on the camera, I don't know. See, it's got that nice creamy yeast there. And that browner stuff, that's more some of the protein break from the boil. There isn't a whole lot of hop trub in here because, uh, hop debris rather, because I uh, used a hop sack to, um, in the boil, just an experiment. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but the things that I've got ready here, I've got, I've got one liter of cool down sterile water. I boiled it. The boiling's important to sterilize it, but also drive all the oxygen out of it. That's important because the yeast are dormant, and if you keep the oxygen away from the yeast, that'll help uh, keep them from becoming metabolically active and burning through some of their energy stores that they that they laid down as the beer settle as they settled out post fermentation. I also have a one uh, a, a one quart mason jar here that's also been boiled and sterilized. This is going to be my initial collection jar. You'll see that as we go through the process. Then I also have three uh, pint-sized mason jars that I'll, I'll uh, divvy the yeast up into after I pull it out of the big jar. Uh, so the main goal is I'm going to put this one liter of water in here. I'm going to slosh it around to get the yeast cake resuspended. Then I'll transfer as much of it as I can into my big collection jar. And the point of that is to let some of this, the, the bigger chunks and the protein, any hop debris, settle to the bottom. And then the top of it will be all nice, clean, creamy yeast. And then once that settling happens, I'll pour this out into my three jars. Okay, so we've got, we've got our water, our jars, and our racked off beer with our yeast cake. We're just about ready to go. I also keep a spray bottle of sanitizer handy in case I feel I need that. I've also got a funnel to help me uh, transfer my water into my carboy. So let's give it a go and see how we do. Add my liter of water. There we go. I'm going to spray down the top of this a little bit so that when I pour out of it later in a little bit it'll be sanitized. Let's shake this up. See, that looks pretty good. It's alright if we don't get it all up. There's a lot of yeast in here. Alright. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's loaded. That's a whole lot of yeast in there. Now, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. I'll put one of these lids on here. Let it sit for a little bit. See if we can see some darker stuff collecting on the bottom. Like I said, I used a hot bag for this, for this batch. So, this is pretty clean already as it is. I could probably just break this up into the jars and be happy with it. But, I'll give it like five minutes and see what I've got on the bottom. Okay, so it's been about five to ten minutes. You can see it's actually all the yeast is starting to settle out. You can see a little bit of the water beer mix on top of it. You can just probably barely see it. There's a little bit of that brown trube on the bottom there, just a little bit. Because, you know, they're really, like I said, there's not a whole lot of hop debris in here. So it looks pretty good. This is all good yeast here. It's pretty thick. Realistically, you probably could dilute this with two liters of water because there's so much yeast in there. Uh, it'd be a little looser, and it would probably you get that uh, better gradient, more settling. But with this here, I think I'm just going to try to pour off some of this into equal thirds into the rest of these jars. 
and then the jars will go in the fridge and uh, I'll label them with what they are. This is Nottingham. Put the date on there and uh, a jar like this with yeast in it probably be good for in the fridge about two weeks. You could just pitch the whole thing. Um, if you went longer than that, say three weeks, four weeks really, then maybe pitch that into like a two liter starter just to kind of wake it up before you put it in your beer. Um, but it's just that easy. This isn't really yeast washing, it's just yeast harvesting. Um, I don't bother, you could rinse this again with water, let it settle out, but I don't bother with that. This works just fine. When we did the Master of Lager series, this is how we did it. it worked great for us, and it'll probably work good for you. So, if there are any questions, you know, leave it as a comment on the video. Um, I hope this helps out a little bit, the mystery of uh, yeast harvesting. So, uh, brew on.